Hi guys, this is DJ RSNF88 speaking with a review of the all new Great Western King class from Hornby. Hornby's all new model of the Great Western King was officially announced at the famous Worley National Model Railway Exhibition at the end of 2014. The model is a totally new tooling to that scene of the old Hornby King, which came before it. The King class was designed by Charles Collett to meet the future traffic requirements of the Great Western Railway. The first members of the class entered service in 1927, and by 1931, a total of 31 locomotives had entered service. All members of the class bore names of Kings of England and the United Kingdom. Designed for express passenger workings, the Kings were the largest and most powerfulest 460 locomotives on the Western region. All members of the class were withdrawn by 1962, with three locomotives entering preservation. Hornby have announced four versions of the King. The first, R3331, King James I in Great Western Green, R3332, King Edward VIII in BR Lake Green, R3370 TTS, King Richard II in BR Early Blue, and this sample, R3330, King George V, as preserved in BR Early Green. Naturally, this model is from my local model shop, Signals Models of Midsummer Norton, and is now available for £153.60. The model comes in this smart NRM style sleeve with the standard ice cube packaging as found on nearly all new models from Hornby. Inside is a large detailing pack featuring a wide variety of parts for you to fit including brake rigging, cylinder drain cocks, front NEM coupling and number plates for the cab sides which is a new feature for a detailing pack like this. Once out of the box, the model really speaks for itself, with Hornby capturing the prototype extremely well. The model throughout features a wealth of detail, including a well-represented smoke box door, cylinder chest, separately fitted smoke box dart, lamp irons, sprung buffers, finely applied handrails and pipework, detailed running plate, extensively detailed cab interior, adjustable full plate, rivet detail, plus a highly detailed and well represented front bogey and underframe. A unique feature for King George V is also this brass bell, which is fitted to the front of the running plate. Like the model itself, the livery is also finished to a very high standard, with finely applied BR orange and black lining, highlighted smoke box door and other brass work, neatly applied BR early crest, well represented name and number plates, perfectly legible shed code and power and weight classifications to the cab sides. Performance straight from the box is superb with the King running smoothly and quietly in both directions thanks to its powerful five pole motor. The model also makes no hesitation over point work thanks to its tender pickups as seen here. All in all the King is a stunning new addition from Hornby with its high level of detail well applied livery and excellent performance, it is a must for any western region modeller, whatever the period. In my view, this earns the model a well deserved 10 out of 10. This has been SDJR, Senef88 speaking and thanks for watching.